I want to go to uh, one of our sponsors, but that's not why he's on the show with us. He had a great idea. Chad Cooper, Boy Scout, police officer, Air Force intelligence specialist, master's in strategic intelligence defense, contractor, CEO of Infidel Body Armor. He'd be a great guy to have on just as a guest sometime from all of his life experience. And he saw an article uh, out of the New American, author Brad Thor offers to buy Zimmerman new gun and ammo after the Justice Department is blocking the release of evidence from Zimmerman murder trial uh, as part of the continued cover-up. And so now uh, Chad Cooper of InfidelBodyArmor.com, he wants to make an announcement to George Zimmerman. Uh, and, of course, this is a political statement, too, uh, about something he wants to offer uh, George Zimmerman. So, Chad, uh, thank you for coming on the broadcast with us. Thanks for having me, Alex. I appreciate it. You bet. So uh, what do you want to say to George Zimmerman? Well, I'd like to... Uh offer him and his extended family uh, free body armor. I understand that uh, there's been thousands of death threats made against him, and frankly, that's just not right in America. People should be able to be free, especially after, after a jury announces that he's innocent. Um, with all the death threats against him, I'd just like to uh, offer him and his family body armor without any charge. Well, I think that they should take advantage of that, and so we'll 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 try to get them a message, uh, or I guess you could probably just ship it right to his home address, even though he's not there now. It'll get to him. So why don't we just uh, why don't we why don't you just ship him four or five uh, of your great uh, uh, body armor packages right to his front door? I think I think they'll get there that way. We'll do that absolutely. <laughs> and and again, just the idea of what happens if he does get killed. There's all these calls to kill him. And, and I, wonder, I wonder what the Obamanoids are going to do then uh, if they actually kill this guy that's been found not guilty. Well, uh, I, I, I hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, I, I imagine it would just be swept under the rug. And, uh, you know, we can blame it all day long. Well, you know, the people are angry and they need to have their way, you know. And uh, I imagine something, some kind of political spin would be made on something like that. Have you heard about the black George Zimmerman who three years ago uh, killed a white 17-year-old who was breaking into cars with two others and rushed him and a white grand jury no billed the indictment that the prosecutor uh, wanted? We've got that article up on InfoWars.com. In fact, if that guy, if somebody can get a hold of him, we're trying to get a hold of him, I want to get the gentleman on. I mean, I wonder why the white grand jury uh, no billed him. I, I thought they're all racist. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I was just reading that article myself, and uh, it doesn't surprise me. You know, uh, our media wants to paint everybody as racist, uh, and uh, unless it's the other way around. And uh, we've known that for years, and that's just the way it is in America, unfortunately, right now. Well, I think the system's bitten off more than it can chew. Uh, if, if just good Americans of all races, colors, creeds, religions stand up and say no, what do you think? Well, it doesn't really, in my opinion, it doesn't have anything to do with what he did that night. My stance is that it doesn't have anything to do with what he did that night. It doesn't have anything to do with racism. What it has to do with is this mob mentality that is gr growing in America that says, hey, if I don't like the way this uh, jury voted, then I'm going to take the law into my own hands. I'm going to go and uh, have this mob mentality where I can lynch somebody. If I'm unhappy. Well, that's it. It's an attack on the jury. It's an attack on the Constitution. It's an attack on being an individual and to be a group thinker. And the government's our big mommy up there. Right. And, and they're actually encouraging this type of thought. You know, when the president weighs in uh, on this. Stay there. Uh, We're talking to Chad Cooper, evil CEO of his own American, made in America successful body armor company. There's nothing worse than that. Uh, InfidelBodyArmor.com. We'll let him get some closing comments right ahead. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. One of our great sponsors uh, joins us, and he's saying, hey, give George Zimmerman free body armor. So he's going to ship it to his house, and then it'll obviously get to him. But imagine having to live in hiding now. Um, I personally wouldn't. I'd just start festooning myself with firearms. But you've had people shot and killed in Florida uh, who had free George Zimmerman stickers on their cars. 
Uh, and it just shows a crazy attitude that that you're going to get ahead. That's what MSNBC basically pushes if you can deal with the racist crackers. And the and, and I listen to MSNBC on XM. It's like the Twilight Zone because it's so clear they're trying to invoke division uh, to divert away from the fact that Obama basically works for globalist interests that are destroying this country. It, it, we're living in a twilight zone movie. You seem like a pretty smart guy, Chad. What do you think we should do to bring this country together and try to bring back what made this nation great instead of going the direction we're going? Well, I think the uh, the key is is we need to start with what you can do. Start with your family. Strengthen your family. Strengthen your friends. Strengthen your church. And, and it can only grow outwards from there. Start with the circle that you can influence. And when you are prepared, when you are smart, when you've learned the Constitution, then you can help others to grow and strengthen. I think that's what it really needs to, to go is, is as us as individuals, we need to uh, enlighten ourselves and refresh our memories of, of what we've forgotten over the past uh, 100 years. Absolutely. And you know, if I had to place bets, I, I think there's probably a 20, 30 percent chance somebody's going to try to kill George Zimmerman. I believe someone probably definitely will. You know, there's a that's a pretty good that's pretty good odds that something like that will definitely happen. And yeah, and, and there's a good odds they'll succeed too. I've... Well, you know, I, I've read a couple of reports that say he is wearing body armor, and uh, the, the couple of pictures I was able to find, it looks like what he's wearing is what police officers typically wear, and, and that's soft body armor, and and that's really only good to stop pistols. So if somebody even took a 22 long rifle out from a distance, it's going to go right through that. That's right. You've got yeah. videos of torture tests and so much more, and your body armor has been tested by H.P. White, the premier testing authority for the National Institute of Justice and rated at level three. And it can stop hundreds of rounds of even 30-odd six versus the ceramic that can only call, uh, stop about six or so. And now, obviously, th this is heavier, so you wouldn't see cops walking around the street. But if you're driving around in a collapse situation or you're in your house, or if you want something to exercise and to get in shape, I mean, this is the real deal. This is the road warrior stuff. That's right, Alex. And you know, the end of the world as we know it uh, has already happened for George Zimmerman. Uh, and your Skype and just cut out. The time we got Start cut over, out. go ahead. You're saying it, it cut out at the end of the world uh, has our, uh, as George Zimmerman uh, knows it. Right, at the end of the world as we know it has already happened for George Zimmerman. And I believe it's coming soon to uh, a neighborhood near you. So being prepared is part of it. And uh, like you said, our body armor is a little bit heavier. It, it, it's about a pound heavier than the, the ceramic. And here's the trade-off. I've got a, for those people who are viewing in, this is a ceramic plate that was shot six times. On the second shot, it went through, the, there's a hole right here. It went through on the second shot. They're rated for six hits. Six hits in six different places. Now, our body armor right here, like you said, it'll stop hundreds of rounds. We've tested it, 308 sniper rounds, hundreds of rounds, literally in the same spot, and it keeps repelling bullets. And to me, that's that's not even a trade-off. That's an that's And exactly, benefit. you know, me saying it's heavy, it's only a little bit heavier than the other. I mean, my point is, though, this is the real deal. You've also got backpacks, uh, so much more, an amazing site, infidelbodyarmor.com. And there's also a toll-free number uh, there on the website. In fact, do you happen to have that toll-free number in front of you? I'll give that out to people. I actually rather them call the one, excuse me, uh, 404 Armor 16. That's 409-276-6716. All right, absolutely. Thank you so much for being on with us, my friend. InfoWars Nightly News, 7 o'clock tonight. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.